Stations of the Cross, Day 9. Scripture reading this morning is taken from Matthew's Gospel. Matthew 27, verses 51, 52. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook, the rocks split, and the tombs broke open. The bodies of many holy people who had died were raised to life. Our devotional thought is brought to us by General Bram Tilsley. He writes, following the death of Jesus on the cross, Matthew says, at that moment the curtain in the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook, and the rocks split. This was the curtain that covered the entrance to the Holy of Holies. Beyond that point, no one could enter except the high priest. Once a year, on the Day of Atonement, the high priest entered with atoning blood to atone for his own sins, as well as the sins of his people. The rending of the curtain was symbolic to the fact that the way to God was now open to all. The author of Hebrews writes, Therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way open for us through the curtain, that is, his blood, and since we have a great high priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart, full in the assurance of faith. Hebrews 10, 19 to 22. There is no more need of temples, priests, altars, or sacrifices. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. Our prayer is brought to us by Major Barb Robinson. Let's pray together. Sometimes, O oh God, the sun stops shining in my heart when the experience of living in a world tempts my soul to despair. A world which crucified love, distorted by evil and self-aggrandizement. When, like the women who witnessed your death, I stumble forward in fear, remind me of your power which rocks the earth in shattered shale. Remind me of a truth behind the veil. Remind me that I serve the Son of God. Amen.